STS Ron Cohn in a computers.com otro video para ti. Hoy want to make this video showing you how to install a card reader, one of those multi readers, into your desktop computer. They'll look similar to this. And multi reader, they come in different types. Whoops, upside down. Smart Media Compact Flash MMC SD MS Pro. So they're not that difficult to install in a desktop, pretty easy. They have a USB connector. And if you notice the plug, there's one that is blank. This one right here on the end, so you'll have to become aware of that. They might not all be the same though. And this one has a little dumb, a blank. Some might have two screws. This one just has one screw and then on the other side you just install the blank so I'll show you that so you just have to open up your computer case now the easiest way is to find the opposite cover from your IO so if you notice here here's your IO shield and these are your IO ports obviously keyboard video US well HDMI Ethernet blah 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 USB so look for the cover on the opposite side the exact opposite which would be here sometimes they have thumb screws or sometimes there are standard screws more like more like this which would require a little carpet carpet fiber there which would require a screwdriver and then so just uns uns screw the screws this will I'm just doing demonstration so just one just take it out and then take off the cover again the opposite side because then you'll be on the opposite side of the motherboard and it'll be much easier now you can take both covers off but there's no reason to take the back cover closest to the motherboard to get one of these card readers installed then you're going to look for the slot. So mine already had it installed. I'm just showing you. I was going to try to put in a second hard drive. And long story short, I decided to use a different computer. This is a, a smaller desktop computer, probably a mini desktop. It's very small. So here's the slot. If, if you're installing for the first time, look for these small slots. They're three and a half inches. You might have to take one out you know what I'm saying so then you want to take the front cover off and sometimes there is releases on this desktop there's these these little you pinch them I don't you should be able to see right here where my finger is you just pinch it pinch and then push and then do it for the bottom one too just take your fingers I don't want to knock I don't want to knock the camera over. Let me move it back a little bit. Pinch. You can also use a pliers, but I use my fingers. Then, then push out, and then it comes right off. And there comes the front cover. So you're going to have to take the front cover off. So you notice there's already a blank here. If yours, there's carpet fibers in even in here. If yours had a blank, you just press it press in on these two little tabs and it falls right out the front way then to reinstall it just from the front push you have to line it up push in and then it's tight so this one was already missing but if you had one you just push in on the little sides and then push out and it'll fall out now you're gonna run it through the hole right there so you might want to take this the the connector end and then grab it with your other hand and then just make sure this is the right side make sure this is an upside down as you install otherwise you're gonna waste time then just slide it in it's three and a half inches now don't forget if it might have a blank which is one of these. 
Let's see, let's get that on camera. So if it does, you just install it like, I think it's like this. They, they fit inside the screw holes. So it should be like this. Come on. Yes, I think. And this one has this little notch right here, if you notice this. You see that right there in the end? That's going to make it so it doesn't go all the way back. So then slide it in, and it should kind of latch. Now it's going to stop because of that notch. So you want it to stick out, I would say, about an inch right there. And if it has one of those blanks, it's got a notch so it can't go any further. And then if you notice, it lines up with one of the screw holes perfectly. I think you might be able to see it on camera. This one right there, it lines up perfect. And this came with one screw, and then that's it. And we'll just screw it. Let me move the let me move the camera so I don't knock it over. And you just need a Phillips. And that's it. That's really the only tool. This one only had one screw. Sometimes I think they might have another screw over here. Well, this is so small. Some of them are, are longer, though. Yeah, I think some might have two screws. I don't know if they... Some might have screws for the other side, or they'll have a blank. That's it. So you have the card reader installed, as you can see now. Make sure it's the right side up. And then now the U, the cable. So down here on the motherboard, look for USB connections. Newer motherboards are going to have USB 3.0. An older desktop like this will have USB 2.0. And it will even label them. So let me move that. And I'll try to point. You see right here on the bottom of the motherboard, it says USB 2.0 right there. These are the USB 2.0 ports. There's an orange one, a yellow one, and a black one. Just choose one that's empty or not being used. Empty. One that's not being used. Now, I told you before, this has a blank. You see the one on the very right-hand side? It's blank. So if you notice on the USB ports, the very bottom row, there's one missing. There's one pin, two, three, four. There's four pins. The one, you use the bottom, well, I think it's usually the bottom row, but I don't know. I haven't opened up every computer ever designed. Look for one where there's, that matches the amount of pins. This has four female connectors for four pins. And it's, the last one is, is blank. So then you just install it on the bottom row. If you install it this way, it's not going to, you want to install it so that the blank is on the end where there would be a fifth one, like just like this. This is about the most difficult part. There you go. And then just, you don't have to, you can bust these off pretty easily. So just press, press in a little bit. Just make sure it's tight. And then your cable management, I could have done it differently, but I don't really care. But you can... You know, you can wind it around back there. Or, you know what I could do? I could unhook this power connector for the hard drive, and then I'll just push this back there, and then it'll look a little bit better. I don't really care about cable management with this computer. And then I'll, I'll worry about the hard drive later. So there you go. That's all you have to do. Now you just have to put the, the cover back on, the front cover. Most of them snap. A lot of them snap. S oops. A lot of them snap down. I don't want to lose my little. Okay. So you've got these little snap-ins right here. And they can break off. If you take a pliers to them, they might break. That's why you just pinch in. On... You notice how they bend in? That's so that they'll... Then you push out to release the front cover. But to put it back on, just line it back up. And I don't want the I don't want the camera to fall. So you can even lift the case a little bit and then just line it up, line up the holes on the top, and then boom. Just make sure they're all tight. 
So they're all tight and they just snap in. But you can break those if you mess around with them too much or you, if you try to use pliers. But you can use pliers, but just be careful. And then they're in there really tight. And then to release, you just pinch in on them. Okay, so then just the cover. And then that's it. That's how you install a card reader, multi card reader on an old, this is an old computer, this is just a small desktop computer. But it, look for the slots. You just look for, you just look for these type of three and a half inch slots. Even a small computer like this has a spare one. It's the same size as a floppy, you know the old three and a half, three and a half inch floppy drives? Yep, and then you might, like I already went through everything. And then just put the cover back on and boot it up and make sure as far as drivers I would say I don't know if any of them eh, some might come with the disk but I would say most modern operating systems Windows 7 Windows 10 even Linux Mac it should load a driver for it it's just a USB device they're so standard nowadays that most computers come with them even laptops come with them so that's how you install a card reader into a desktop computer adios